Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover, one from some drama that started when Proof Son shared a tweet about NF that didn't go well with NF's fans and he dropped a recent update on Twitter a few hours ago. Today we also have some reports that are surprising for hip-hop fans on social media, one from Billboard and one from YouTube that got people puzzled and they are seeking answers right now on social media, more on this in a bit. Today we'll start with one that came out of left field involving Proof Son the son who decided to share this on Twitter a few hours ago. LOL people listening to NF, perhaps he was looking to troll NF fans, I don't know. And things got heated real quick with responses like, bro is mad he don't get attention like NF laughing my bum off. And they flooded his replies with more like, yeah, dude only has like 15 million more monthly listeners than you on Spotify. You're saying it like it's cannabis. And while many hit back at him roasting him, some took this approach. He's been on the top 50 most streamed artists for years now. His music has a high quality cinematic sound with heartfelt lyrics that people can relate to. He's held over 14 million monthly listeners on Spotify for two years of not releasing anything. And after so many replies like these, when your music is trash so you have to name drop, bro is the unknown version of the game, loudly crying emoji. Nassan shared a change of heart a few hours ago. I'm not gonna lie, y'all bullied me into watching an NF documentary last night, loudly crying emoji, cool guy, sad upbringing. So he had admits he was pressured into doing some research many agree under. They was cooking you, not gonna lie. But what are your thoughts on NF? I remember the crap storm on social media when he beat Chance the Rapper for number one. And somehow Eminem was dragged into it. Moving on to the next point today, back in late 2021, shortly after Jay-Z revealed that no one stands a chance against him in a versus battle. If you recall, we also saw how some hip-hop outlets like Complex chose to join the circus to claim that Eminem's hits did not age as well as his contemporaries when they dropped their versus power rankings that just happened to put Jay-Z at number one. Somehow, these hip-hop magazines, regardless of the subject matter, seem to come to the conclusion that puts Jay-Z at number one. But back on topic, we got another recent report from Billboard that shows just how comical Complex's take on Eminem was. Check this out. Eminem's curtain called the hits returns to the top 20 on this week's Billboard 200. And if all you do is read articles like that from Complex, the first question would be, how is this possible? And when we get to our next point at hand, you'd see this play out in real time. But in response to this report, you can find some fans poke fun at this. Remember, Eminem music don't age well, and all things being equal, Rakim was onto something when he made that statement about Eminem a while back. And check this out, the latest report for the month of February for most viewed hip-hop acts, rappers with the most views on YouTube in February. And the streak continues for Eminem, he's got a two times multiplier over the second most viewed rapper Drake and this has sparked confusion for some. Who still watches Eminem? And you have to quote understand where these people are coming from. I mean, if I was some casual who religiously read articles from outlets like Complex, I'd be asking the same question, especially after that Versus article. <laughs> Another user dropped this. I don't get how Eminem is always so high on this list. Loudly crying emoji. Oh, there's more. Who goes to watch Eminem on YouTube? LOL. And here's my favorite so far. I'm not hating on Eminem, but he don't count. Drake number one and NBA Youngboy number two. And then the list go on. And this should be the next step at this point. Eminem's longevity should be studied. Aside him being white, there's something special about him. A lot of things need to be studied about him, including how he moved over 160 million singles sold in the United States alone with limited radio play. That will be all for today. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more and see you on the next one.